Hey guys, this is a reading for the blood moon. And I'm going to do Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius all in one, but I'm going to do each sign separately, okay? There's going to be some tough energy um, here, guys. So let's see what's going on first for my Geminis. Let's see what's coming towards you guys. Could be a person, um, could just be a situation, how you're feeling, just whatever comes up. Let's see what's coming towards my Geminis. Six of Swords. I think this is you guys, you know, realizing your feelings. Like, um, there's some knowledge that you've come across. There is some information that I think that, um, I feel like you guys already knew, but during this time is really going to be like in your face in your face and i think a lot of you are going to want to um address it for sure just be careful though because again you know the energy may be intense for you guys during this time okay hmm yeah, there's something that I feel like you've been indecisive about for a while. And then during this time period, it's like, bam, it's like in your face. And all of a sudden, you know, you want to address it. Let's see how you can be proactive in this situation. Hmm. I think that before you actually take action on something and address it, decide how you truly feel about, about what you've learned. Um, decide how you're going to address it. Are you going to hold back? Are you going to come forward with everything? Are you going to be open? Okay. A lot of thinking there. Let's see what needs to be purged. Wow. Hmm. I think whatever issues you guys are have been thinking about that happened with your soulmate that happened in the past. Um, that needs to be purged. If you're having bad, if you've had bad memories or bad thoughts of this person, that needs to be purged. If you're going towards this person to address something, most definitely you need to get together um you know if you're going to be truly open how you're going to address this with this person yeah any negative memories need that needs to be purged that needs to be let go that needs to be you know first addressed within you and then you go towards the person that you're thinking about your soulmate um and address whatever you feel like you need to address with them, okay? This is getting your balance. This is addressing your feelings, your thoughts, all of that, okay? Let's see what parts of your life you should advance on. A lot of swords here. Um where you've been betrayed before your feelings of betrayal even if you feel like you know you've done something to somebody else feelings of being stabbed in the back tough energy i feel like this is something that's been with you a long time i think you know there's not only issues here with a soulmate there may be issues here with parents siblings children if you have them but there are a lot of things here that i feel like you know need some need need to be addressed issues that need to be addressed okay and put to bed 
resolved so you can move on and and do so successfully do so with a level head and you know a light heart is what i'm feeling okay let's see what you can do to evolve from the things you've learned here do what you feel is right and this is doing what you feel is right for all involved um don't bow down to anyone but you know also take into account how how other people may be feeling at this time too um do what you feel is right make things right with the people that you feel like you need to make things right with whatever that means for you okay if you feel like you want to reunite with someone whatever it was that broke you guys up whatever you whatever you had to do with the breakup then that's what is making things right that's what is involved in making things right whatever your part is because you can't you can't fix anyone else or you can't you know make somebody else do something the only thing you can do is what you feel is right what you feel like you are accountable for okay mm. let's see um what will come about as a result of this eclipse i feel like this is marriage for a lot of you guys not for all of you but a, but really a strong relationship i feel was here feelings of betrayal um a lot of a lot of fear a lot of um a lot of things were probably said that were like a lot of miscommunication a lot of things were said that you know people didn't necessarily mean here i feel hmm. a lot of a lot of thinking and overthinking i feel let's see what will come about as a result of this eclipse Um, during this time, you're really going to feel burden. There's a lot of things that you want to get off your chest. I feel like there's a lot of things that you want to do. Um, but I feel like once you get these things off your chest and you do what you feel is right, oh, my ear, um, then, you know, this is an ending so that those feelings of betrayal um whether you know some was done on your part and some on somebody else's that will come to an end and you will relieve yourself of that burden whatever it is you've been carrying my guys you will relieve yourself of that burden this heavy feeling that that you're going to experience during this time and that you have been experiencing up until now um that will come to an end for you okay um it's gonna be hard to address these things but I, I i sense the need in you to address these things so but um actually doing it is going to take some effort and take some patience but um you can do it you can do it because at the end of the day once you do purge purge these things um you'll feel a whole lot better okay so I am going to move on to Libra here. See what my Libras can expect. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What can my Libras expect during this eclipse? What's coming towards them? Please show me what's coming towards them. Ooh, ooh, an awakening. An awakening there's gonna be some things that are revealed to you guys there's gonna be some feelings that make you very uneasy there's going to be some happenings that um, you know kind of take you back um, you know kind of knock you off your knock your stability a little bit but you know during this time i feel there there are things that really need to be um 
knocked down. So they can be built up on a stronger foundation because this one's shaky. I think, you know, things that you believe, um, things that you feel like you know to be true, all of that is going to be challenged during this period. Okay. Scorpio energy there. Mm. It's going to be some tough energy going on for you guys. Let's see how you can be proactive in this. Some of you guys, and I have to say it, and I always try to not, um, I don't like for people to feel bad. Some of you are either getting ready to go through a breakup. You're going to find out some information that's going to, is, is, is going to kind of rock your boat a little bit. Okay. But I feel strongly a breakup for a lot of you because this energy is, is going to be very challenging. Um, so before I move on, I'm just going to say that, you know, just be mindful of the things that you say. Be mindful of the things that you do um, because this is like an explosion of anger as well. So I feel like a lot of you are going to, you know, your buttons are going to be pushed and um, there's going to be something that's going to lead you to like really blow your shit. Okay. So just, just. Be mindful of that, you guys. Let's see how you can be proactive during this time. Walk away. I feel like if, if there is a challenging situation for you guys, um, the best thing for you to do during this time is to walk away from it. Is to walk away from it. And that is where you will find your success. As challenging as a situation may come, to you, walk away, okay? Maybe a cancer individual that you are dealing with may not, but definitely walk away. Restrain yourself, okay? Let's see what needs to be purged here. Eight of Wands. I think, you know, just like I was saying, think before you speak. Gather all the information that you need first before um, before you guys communicate. Okay? Don't be so quick to respond. Don't be so quick to react. Slow it down a little bit. Okay? And Libras are pretty, pretty calm, but I think this energy is going to, you know, is going to put a fire under a lot of you. All right, so don't be so quick to respond, okay, or overreact. Let's see what parts of your life you should advance on. Mm. Knowing that you can do this, <laughs> you can do whatever you put your mind to, okay. You can do whatever you put your mind to. If you guys feel like somebody is getting on your freaking nerves, knowing that you can go in your corner, you can saw, you can talk it out in a very calm manner, or you can choose to eject yourself from this situation. Okay? You can do this. You can do this. Excuse me. I'm seeing here when I look at this card, of course, all the all the aces are here. But the main one that stood out to me when I first looked at this card was this ace of cups. And so I think this is more of you guys um, loving yourself. Um, learning to extend that love to others unconditionally. I think this is a lot of you needing to just take the initiative on things. Taking the initiative, being more active, period. Okay. 
in your life and what happens. Not allowing anyone else to like lead the way for you. Hmm. Let's see what you can do to evolve from the things that you've learned. Use your intuition. Use your intuition. You have the magician and the high priestess right here. The magician is, is, is an active energy that takes whatever tools they have innately and putting them outward to get what they want. The high priestess does not speak, but she knows. She knows exactly how to use these tools to get what she or he wants. Okay? Learning to trust your intuition. Learning to trust your intuition. But, and I'm, I'm just getting this, guys. Do not get your ego confused with your intuition. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what will come about as a result of this eclipse. What will come about as a result of this eclipse? <sighs> this is what I really, you know, it's good in a sense, but I do not want to see you guys like really closing yourselves off. But I think that you will because the energy is going to be tough. But if you are closing yourself off to reflect on things that have happened in the past or, you know, behaviors of your, you know, that certain behaviors that you were not proud of or even the ones that you were proud of to kind of see what actually works for you. Um, behaviors of other people that you feel like, you know, were not so um, positive or, or the behaviors that were negative that affected you. How you can take all of these things and move forward successfully in your life. That will be a great thing, but just to remove yourself and just to kind of go into recluse, um, just to kind of hide yourself or shield yourself from what's going on um, around you. I don't want to see you do that. I want to see you doing this, like um, removing yourself just to kind of reflect and to, you know, really learn to listen to your intuition so you can make ish happen that's what i want to see okay so my libras listening to this reading please just take the time for yourselves do not let anybody get you all stirred up act out of character um because that can lead you to going into this this hermit mode where you're not really proud of the things that you've done and that you know now you're just trying to remove yourself because it's like um you know you're hiding okay don't hide remove yourself from things that you feel like you know are not good for you or that's like you know, drawing you into some negativity, remove yourself and take that time to reflect on that situation, what you can do, how you can be successful from here on. Okay, my guys. So that's what I have for my Libras. All right. So let's move on to my Aquarius and see what they need to know during this eclipse, what's coming towards them, person, situations, feelings. For my Aquarius, what's coming towards my Aquarius, friends? Aquarius. You've got a Queen of Wands coming towards you, Aquarius. Hmm. This person is very challenging for you because I think um, you feel like, yeah, you're attracted to them. Um, you feel like they got this boss mentality going on. You know, it's kind of hot to you. But at the same time, you feel like there's something about this person that um, you feel like they're hiding. You're, they're hiding something. Um, 
Maybe they are a little too um, arrogant for you. Maybe they think they can have whatever it is that they want. Okay, but that that is what's coming towards you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Let's see what you can do to be proactive. Stand your ground. Don't let anybody bully you. Um, if you know what it is that you want in your life, don't let anybody sway you from that. Um, they may be a boss, but they don't have to be the boss of you. Okay, stand your ground. Okay, don't be stubborn. But, I mean, you have your standards and you stick by your standards. That's what this is saying. Let's see what needs to be purged here. Being stuck, self-sacrificing, doing what somebody else says because, you know, you don't want them to get angry with you. No. No, 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 no. See the light, okay? Do not do that because you also have feelings and emotions here. And your feelings and emotions need to be addressed as well. And they need to be respected, okay? For sure. Let's see what parts of your life you should advance on. Here we have another Aries card. Strong Aries here. I think you need to advance on your faith. Faith. I think you need to have faith in yourself. I think your confidence may be, you know, shot down a little bit. Maybe you, you're involved with somebody that's a little overbearing. Maybe they dim your light. I think it's time for you to shine. I think it's time for you to do what makes you happy here with this rainbow. It's time for you to feel on top of the world. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in your abilities, your capabilities. Okay? Maybe there's a need to take a leap of faith on this person. To stop being stuck around this situation. Stop sacrificing. Um, if you know you want to be with them, but there are certain things about them that, you know, kind of, you know, that do not sit well with you. There's a need to have a conversation here as the emperor. You know, let them tell you what it is that they want and expect and you do the same. But it's not, not a need for you to sacrifice yourself for somebody else's happiness. No. Okay. Let's see what you can do to evolve from the things you've learned here. Use your intuition. Be the loving, kind person that I know that you are. Um, this is probably for some of you males and females. Um, getting in touch with your feminine energy. Your receptive energy. Okay? Okay. And, you know, accepting somebody for who they are is not the same as accepting bullshit, okay? There's a difference. Yeah. Let's see what will come about as a result of this eclipse for you. This is self-awareness. This is self-realization. This is self-actualization. I think a lot of you are growing during this time. And I think this eclipse is going to really kind of set a fire under you to expand your life in every area. And I think that um, in addressing these issues with the individual that you are thinking about right now, I think you will definitely come out of this very happy, both of you, both of you. But there is a need for you to do what makes you happy. Keep in mind, do not sacrifice yourself, okay? I think you will be enlightened during this period. I think you definitely will about this person, about your situation, what it is that you want to do, um, all of that. 
So this is a very good card to close out the reading. I love it. Um, could be a Leo that you're dealing with as well. Any water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, of course, Aries, Leo, Sag. But um, this looks good, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I will speak with you guys soon. Bye.